Hey, welcome to Mission Make Clarity Common. If you've never seen or heard of me before, let me introduce myself. My name's Clee the Visionary. I'm an ex-radio uh, producer, podcaster, writer, share of ideas on the internet, just like everybody else these days pretty much. But I have a unique experience with clarity and I've been able to help multiple people get clarity in their lives and I want to share something with you on this video that I am really really excited to launch this is mission make clarity common now the person I probably helped the most with clarity is myself see I was severely plagued in this area I feel like I struggled more than the average person and I had to go through a lot to get clarity in my own life. When I started college years ago, I did not know what I wanted to do with my life. I had ideas and I realized that those did things that I didn't really want to do after experiencing them. So I picked the broadest degree I could and felt like I could get a job with it at any time. And that was a business degree. But over time, through the program I was going through, I realized that I didn't want to do any of the things that anybody was doing in my department. I didn't want to go into banking, finance, healthcare administration, accounting. I didn't want to do any of those things. So I took matters into my own hands. I started a podcast for myself. And essentially, I facilitated my own education program. I went on LinkedIn and I started reaching out to people, sharing with them what I was looking to build, what I was interested in, and why I thought they could be helpful and how I could give them a platform. And I interviewed dozens and dozens of high caliber visionaries, visionaries that I was aspiring to be like. And I started to learn and see a few trends going on with the people that I was interviewing. About 60 to 65 interviews in, I boiled it down to three things. And that was each person I talked to had clarity, they had confidence, and they had consistency. Clarity, confidence and consistency they knew who they were doing something for and why it mattered they were confident in the vision that they were per pursuing and they were consistent and diligent at doing the reps of getting the work in of being just persevering through the process of making it happen and even once it started working they kept on doing it <laughs> but that was completely different from lots of other people i saw who were just as gifted just as talented just as intelligent but we're not making impact in the world the way they wanted to. And the difference was those three things. I call it the dreamer to visionary gap. And I saw this problem and I realized it was an epidemic in society. People just were not clear about who they were, who they were, and who they were called to serve. And they were kind of just shooting from the hip of what society was telling them they should be doing. This is not okay. Let me ask you a question. If someone came to you and introduced themselves and they shared exactly what they do and who they do it for and why it's making a difference and why it matters to them and what they're doing to excel and, and increase and scale this whatever they're working on, would you say, oh, wow, all right, that's pretty, that's pretty normal, that's pretty common? Or would you say, whoa, this is exceptional, this is rare? I think you would say, this is rare, and I think that's a problem. Why is having clarity about your life and what you want to do with it, specifically for a bigger purpose, rare? Why are so many people Googling, what's my purpose? Or how do I find my life direction? This is an epidemic among society. So what are we going to do about it? Well, that's why I created Visionpreneur School. If you don't know, Visionpreneur School is a home for visionaries who want to make impact and income with their ideas insights and influence but they're looking for more clarity this is a group of people who are very very driven ambitious and want to make positive change in the world but what we're doing here has three phases and that's why it's called mission make clarity common and i want to share with you what these three phases are so that you're clear on what we're building how you can participate or how you could support so phase one is we're going to be writing a book now, who we're targeting with Mission Make Clarity Common is actually going to be the, the future of today. That is our young people, high school and college age students or age people who are in the working um, society already. These are going to be the new spenders, movers, shakers, influencers of our culture. 
And if we could get them, we're going to be hitting their parents and we're also going to be hitting their uh, administrators and educators. So this is why we're targeting. Now, everyone can benefit from this. Everyone can. But this is who we're going to target because this is where we feel like we can make the most change over a long timeline and period of time that last. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making a product of a book that we can give out. It's easy to read. It's easy to participate with so that we can get the change that we're trying to make in as many hands as possible. And how we're going to do that, we're going to go through three phases. First one, just clearly write the book. Now, the first phase that says prove the process or the first step of the first phase says prove the process because we need to refine the process that we're having people walk through in the book. Now, over the past about four to yeah, four years, four years, I've been diving deep into understanding the psychology, the sociology, the spirituality behind clarity. And I've boiled down a lot of these frameworks, a lot of these systems, a lot of these processes into a understandable, tangible and practical format so that people can go through these processes way faster than I did. I took the brunt of going through these things over a course of years and thousands of dollars and I'm putting it into a book for a super cheap price so that everyone can benefit from what I went through. So we have to prove the process. We're going to be running this through a cohort of 10 case studies, 10 case studies. Why 10 case studies? Well, this is a good enough number where we can hit multiple variables, different types of people who are doing different things and get a, a good understanding of how the process works for each of them. But also it is small enough that we can actually facilitate it on a calendar where it's actually effective, where people aren't missing and not getting the full uh, benefit of the process. So that's why we're going to go with 10. And if you want to get involved in this process, if you're not already part of Visionpreneur School, get in. You could go to buildyourvisionpodcast.com forward slash community, or you could just go to that website and then hit community tab. Um, and Or you could just go to the link in the, the description of this video, or if you're listening to this on the podcast in the show notes, and you can access it there. But we're having to get 10 case studies now. All only thing that I'm asking for people who do these case studies is a testimonial and video and writing, a testimony and video and writing. This moves to step two is processing the proof. We're going to go through these testimonies. We're going to go through the feedback. We're also going to have you do a review of the process to see where it could be improved, refined, remixed so that we can get to step three is actually publishing the process and the proof. So not only will we have the process, we'll have case studies of people who are like the people reading it going through the process. And we'll also have that is a proven process so that people can trust the process. This is why we're going through this phase to make sure we're putting out a quality, excellent piece of work that is in book format that people can actually benefit from right away. So if you want to get in on this, I recommend that you go into Visionpreneur School, sign up. It's completely free, and I'll pin a post sharing how you can make uh, how you can let me know that you are going to want to be a part of this process. I'll put up a form that you can sign. It'll be really easy, um, and we can get you involved in the process. Only thing I'm asking for you from you: testimonial and video writing. Do the review, and I need you to take it seriously. I'm doing it for free now. This is something that I could probably charge for. It's good enough to charge for, but I want to make sure that it is proven. So I'm going to do it for free. What I need from you is your seriousness, your commitment, your commitment to excellence. That's the only thing that I'm asking from you. I will do all the rest of the work. So if you want to get involved with this, please sign up for Vision Preneur School if you haven't already. And if you already are, go to the pinned post that has how you can sign up to be part of this case study so that we can get this book out and complete phase one. No, phase two. Phase two is run the streets. Now, we don't literally mean run the streets, like literally run on the streets, and we don't mean run the streets in the negative connotation of run the streets. We're talking about the streets of society, the seven sectors of society, and the ones that we're going to target to make this change happen. The first one is going to be the education street. We're going to be going to schools, universities, administrators, 
boards of education so that we can get this material in the school systems so that the students can benefit from it and then in turn the institutions universities the schools can also benefit from it because their students are benefiting from it so this is the first part of phase two. Second part is media right the visionpreneur school is a media platform the build your vision podcast is a media platform and also sharing the stage on other people's media platforms so that we can spread the reach of make clarity common and number three is arts and entertainment uh, if you didn't know that's really where i started getting my roots uh, i grew up doing uh, vocal performance uh, i traveled the world in college on scholarship a uh, partial scholarship for singing an ensemble uh, that traveled the world to in, in different competitions and competed. And I uh, grew an audience on TikTok doing performative skits. Arts and entertainment is somewhere that I'm actually, even though it might not seem like it, <laughs> pretty accustomed to being in. And one of the ways that we can reach people is through the arts and entertainment. And who can benefit from getting clarity most than artists? Oh, my gosh, that's one of the toughest fields to get clarity in. So um, we really want to hit that street as well. We'd be doing that in different creative ways over time. Uh, we're not going to put that into cement yet because that is, of course, subject to change based on what culture is doing uh, and what we feel like will be best and most effective. Then we move to phase three. What we want to do is essentially turn all these things into technology. This is where the world is going. Digital assets is what we want to make sure that we are also progressing in so that there is less and less friction for people to get clear. We want to make getting clear common. And one of the ways to make it common is by making it easy. So leveraging things like AI, linking with partners who are engineers and software developers to develop technology that can help go through this process more quickly and more efficiently. And then, of course, phase three is launching that tech stack into the world so essentially where we start from phase one can all be digitized and in the palm of someone's hand through their phone through their tablet or through their computer this is mission make clarity common this is how you can participate i want you to be the benefactor of this process but i just don't want to make you a benefactor i want to make you a partner yes you can go through this process yourself to get clear on what you are building but in turn, you can invest your time and your resources in spreading the word about this so that other people can get it as well. And we can eradicate internal confusion from a generation. This is Mission Make Clarity Common. I hope this makes sense to you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Now, last thing that I want to touch on, because this might be an elephant in the room. Why is Visionpreneur School free? And why am I making all these things available to you? Well, I already explained the part about proving the process for the book but secondarily there is a business model to this because i'm paying for this out of pocket yes this is in the red right now and it has to be sustainable it has to have longevity if we wanted to keep helping people so visionpreneur school right now is free and available to anyone that enters in so that means you should probably do it now but it will not always be that way now visionpreneur school will always be free to enroll in but not everything in Visionpreneur School will remain free. There will be fees for different classes, courses, and digital assets that are within Visionpreneur School. Now, I'll be rolling out a roadmap for how you can uh, interact with this with being a founding member. Um, but that is the process. So we're getting people in, but ultimately, as this grows, different assets that aren't the baseline that we want everyone to know different things that we already have in the classroom like your clarity course and how to launch a podcast and how to build your brand and different things coming like how to communicate better how to record viral videos and things like that will be under a paywall uh, so you want to get people in now <laughs> while the getting is good so that we can <coughs> build this tribe but ultimately so that you can benefit the most from it as well without having to pay the fee that some that come later or later adopters will have to pay in order to get the material that you're going to get. So that's the game plan for how we are also going to make this a profitable situation so they can have longevity and make change over a long period of time. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I am really excited about how this is going to go and I hope to see you inside Visionpreneur School. And if you're already there, hey, look, I would love to have you as a part of a case study if you are serious about getting clear. All right, I'll see you in the next one.